Hello, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day wherever you are in this whole wide world, whether it be morning, noon, or night. May the Lord keep you. May the God bless you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I speak life to your spirit. I speak life to your situation. I speak life to your life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. Watch what you speak, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Watch what you do, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. These are the days where you got to encourage yourself, said the Lord. You know, I got up on here to talk about these classes, but I feel also an encouragement spirit coming up over me. You know, I want to encourage every last one of you that are going through it. Let me tell you something. That's exactly what we do. We go through it. And let me tell you something. When you're going through, people will try to make you think, oh, well, you must have did something or God is mad at you. Can I tell you something? If you are with God, they, they did it to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will be tested, said the Lord. You will go through trials. You will go through tribulations. He he said, but don't be worried about it. He said, be of good cheer for I have overcome the world and so can you. He never said it was going to be easy, people. You're going to go through it, especially if you're trying to live a righteous life. If you're just trying to be a good person, you're going to go through it. But I tell you one thing, you hang up in there. Don't you dare start doing things you used to do. Don't you dare backslide. Don't you dare go to the side. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left, but just keep on serving God. Keep on doing your best. Yeah, you might have to cry sometimes. You might have to get by yourself sometimes. You might have to do things you don't want to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hang in there. Stay strong. Stay focused on God. Everybody's not with you. Oh, I'm going here. I, I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about declares, but I just got to go with the Holy Spirit. There are times when you're going to get hit to the core of your spirit. You're going to feel like giving up. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel like, God, I don't understand. Can I tell you something? That is when you're being tested because God wants to see, do you really love me? Do you really love me? If I allow you to go through it, do you really love me? Or are you going to turn your back and start doing it your way? Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know how we used to do it. Whenever you are a babe in Christ, when you get hit, the first thing you say, oh my God, ever since I came to God, everything's been going wrong. But as you mature in Christ, then you understand. Understand? You expect hits. You expect hits. You expect hits. I said it three times for a reason. Because guess what? If you ain't getting hit, then you ain't lit. Y'all better understand what I just said. If you ain't get hit, you ain't lit. You ain't lit. You don't have the fire of God in your life because the devil ain't bothering you. And if he not bothering you, then you need to understand that, that you ain't lit. Like I said what I said. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. When you have the, the, the power of God, the presence of God, the glory of God in your life, through your life, around your life, you're going to get hit. Everybody's not going to love you. Oh, and I want to speak to you women. I want to speak to you women out here and men. Quit. How can I say this? I just got to say it like it is. Everybody desire to be loved. You know who loves you. You know who doesn't. You know who's with you. You know who isn't. Stop being around people that don't love you. Yeah, I said it like I said. Stop hanging around friends that don't want you. Stop hanging around people that's trying to plot, plan, and hurt you. Are you that lonely to where I'm going to take anything? Yeah, I say what I say. And women, stop selling your sh short. If these men don't want you, quit running after these men. I'm sorry. I'm just telling y'all what I see on Facebook and Crookbook and in life. Stop running after people that don't love you. Stop trying to buy people. Yeah, I say that like I said. Quit trying to impress people. If you got to do tricks, honey, it ain't real. Oh, come on, somebody. Tricks are for kids. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If I got to do all that to keep you interested, then honey, you might as well go the other way anyway because that's too much work and I'm not going to be doing all that. Come on, somebody, because it's not real anyway. Come on, somebody. How long that's gonna last you trying to buy a man how long you gonna run out of money you ain't no millionaire if you try to keep him with honey how long that's gonna last before you go to the next honey you had y'all heard what i said how i said what i said you gotta be real god will never send you somebody that don't love you the way he love you i'm gonna say it again men and women god is not gonna send you somebody that's trying to hurt you use you or misuse you come on somebody hallelujah or abuse you god is not gonna do that and couldn't let people waste your time. Let me tell you something. If you're interested in somebody and they ain't show you that they're interested back, move on. You ain't got to get mad at them. You ain't got to hate them. You ain't got to start on Facebook because some of y'all be doing too much. You ain't got to do all that. Just keep on moving. God bless you. I wish you the best. Y'all got to be real. Everybody desire love. Everybody want love. Everybody want this and that. But let me tell you something. You got to be strong. And you got to wait on God. God knows what you desire, but so does the enemy, especially if you talk a lot. Oh, come on, somebody. If you talk and you tell everybody what you want, 
Because there are some things that you're supposed to speak in your heart. God, you know what I want. God, you know what I desire. And then wait on confirmation. Because I don't care. And I'm going here. I don't know who this is for. I don't care how fine somebody is with a good job or money. Honey, if they hurt your spirit, if they don't love you, oh, man, I'm going here. Do, do y'all know what love is? Because anytime you got to guess, that ain't love. Anytime you got to wonder, that ain't love. Every time you got to feel pain, that ain't love. Not like that. Love going to come with some pain. Don't get it twisted. But if that's from the back off the top, somebody lying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It ain't that much goodness in the world. Because God says, when I bless you, I add no sorrow with it. That means when it's of God, you're going to feel it in your spirit that that person love you, that that person desire you, that that person want you, that that person respect you. Because respect, and let me tell you something. We've all been in a situation to where you know when people like you or love you. When they do not, then you got to move on. Y'all got to move on. Stop hurting yourselves. Please stop hurting yourselves. I'm talking to men and women. Stop hurting yourselves. If they don't want you, let them go and grow because they don't know what they have. Hallelujah. Some of you, you actually put yourself down and you start having low self-esteem because this person or that person told you no. Can I tell you what God told me years ago? You were hitting. So you're, you're in a hiding place. Don't you know the right one can't, the wrong one can't see you. Only the right one can. So stop putting, putting yourself down. Stop hurting yourselves and wait on God. Cause I promise you, God will give you his best. If you have a list right now of what you want and what you desire, and you ask God what he desires for your life, the list will look totally opposite. I'm telling you, but thus said the Lord, you don't know how good God has some things for you, but maybe you're not ready. Maybe you need to work on you. Come on, somebody. How to do? I don't know who this is for. Maybe you need to make sure that you're okay because a lot of you, you carry baggage into relationships and then now you're treating the other person like that other person treats you and that person ain't did you anything, but yet you desire love, but you don't know how to be love. I just said something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that's because you weren't thoroughly healed and delivered. That's why it's so important for people to be healed and delivered. That's what I base my ministry off of. And hold on, you're talking to somebody that had to be healed and delivered in every area of my life. I was a mess. And now God took that mess and now I'm a message. Come on, somebody. I'm not rich and I ain't trying to be. But I promise you this. I'm a better person. I feel good about myself. I walk in peace with everybody. Now, hey, things might happen from time to time. That's life. But as long as you stay in righteousness, try to be a very good person, give your best to God, give your best to people, I promise you, you're going to have victory because God going to make sure because you're operating the spirit of righteousness. Not trying to con nobody, not trying to get over on nobody, not trying to sell nobody out. Yeah, I said how I said it. Now, I don't even know why I went there because y'all know I got this up trying to talk about the classes, but maybe this is for somebody. So God said, just wait on him. Wait to him, confirm that word. And, and thank you, Lord, I hear you. God said, stop settling. Stop settling. That's how people are getting killed. Husband, wives, girlfriends. Y'all settle for anybody just to have love. I'm going to tell you right now. Apostle Deanna Dixon is not settling. That's why y'all don't see, I'm not doing it. I promise you this time, whenever God presents or whatever God does in my life with a man of God, it's going to be God. Otherwise... I'll just wait. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody put that in the comments. I'll just wait. I'm going to wait, honey. Oh, honey, I'm going to wait because I'm telling you, it may even cost you your lives. Quit letting people play you, downplay you. That's how low self-esteem starts. You know how you want to be treated. Anybody that don't treat you how you want to be treated, you don't need them. Yeah, I said it how I said it. You don't need them. Y'all got to have standards. And if they can't meet the standards, bye. God bless you. I ain't mad at you. You can go bring that, that stuff down the street. <laughs> you don't hear me, huh? Yeah, you might be fine, but honey, it's not worth it. You're not going to take me down that road. Hallelujah. Y'all better start having standards and quit being desperate. I'm talking to men and women because I don't care what nobody says. Nobody wants to be alone. You lying, you lying, you lying. You just didn't got hurt, misused, and abused, and now you're scared. So what you're doing is you're operating out of fear and not faith. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. This stuff is real.
I don't even know why I went here. It got to be for somebody. Because I promised y'all I was about to talk about the class, and I still am. But God kind of took me on that on that little, um, whew, I'm just saying. I, I want to see y'all succeed. I want to see you successful. But most of all, you have to have peace. Because if you don't have peace, then everything that you do and you operate is not of God. Did y'all know that? That's why drama precedes drama. Gossip precedes gospel. It's the, it, every, whatever you're working with, a liar, you know what I'm saying? A player, a cheater, a hater. Ask God to send good people in your life. Surround yourself with great people and get rid of people. And I'm not saying bash people, but anybody that does not mean you any good, get rid of them. Yeah, I'm saying it. I don't care if it's family or friends. Excuse me. I'm telling you the truth. Praise God. Praise God. Life is too short. So whoever that was for, I pray that you receive it. I pray that you understand God, want, God wants to give you something. God wants to see you smile for real. So many people are unhappy. You know how you fake it? I, don't, I never did like that saying, fake it till you make it. I don't want to fake nothing, but I do want to make it. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you, whoever that word was for. I pray that it pierce your spirit. I pray that it takes you to the next level. I pray that it strengthens you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to his name. Praise God. So what I was getting up on here to talk about was the classes start on Tuesday. Um, these are the classes. I call them revival classes. And they're for the five-fold ministry, not just prophetic. Now, usually I just give prophetic classes. I'm going to be teaching everything. Evangelism. Um, the Bible says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We've got to start evangelizing. Come on, somebody. Time is short. Y'all think we've got a long, a long time, huh? No, we don't. I'm telling you, we don't. The class will focus on all gifts, the prophetic, evangelism, laying hands, being filled with the Holy Ghost. Most people are not filled. That's why they act that way. That's why they. That's why you still got some cursing Christians and some cursing pastors. That's not of God. Y'all know that. That's entertainment. That's a demon. Say what you want to say. These are some of the books that I will be re, um, using. Very powerful. Very powerful. Healing and deliverance books. And then we're going to talk about life problems, family, spiritual holiness, pains, friends, jobs. We're going to talk about everything because God wants us whole in every area. God don't want you broken in any area because guess what? If you're broken in one, that means you're off balance in the rest. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. And I just pray wholeness for your life in every area. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lot soldiers for that is who you are. And also to register, you go to my website, www.apostledeannadixon.com. Go to the online store. And also those that want to tithe and offering, you can do that to the website as well. Just go to the donation button. And if God leads you, go ahead and donate tithes and offerings. Because um, I am trying to do more this year, more conferences, um, just more use me up, God. That's where I'm at. I ain't trying to get famous. I promise y'all. I ain't, I don't need no other car. I don't need no other house. Y'all ain't ready for me. I, I, I just want to, God, use me. Use me, God, till I can't get used no more. That's where I'm at. Hallelujah. And I don't care what nobody else say. Hallelujah. So God bless you and God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.